so you go. Guess what, Welcome guys? to the very black excellent 50th episode of TPSG, filmed in front of a live studio audience. Yeah, motherfucker! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Boys, we made it 50 episodes in this bitch. Anybody know that guy in the back? <laughs> yeah. I, I banned him last time. I don't know what he's doing back here. But, uh. but we 50 episodes in, man. What's yes, going on, guys? What's going beautiful. on, people? What's up? What's up? It's your favorite podcast, The Physics Study Group, one and only. Hashtag TBSG. Hashtag TBSG. And we are here again for our, like my man I Seen Black said, 50th episode. Yes. Um, who cue the clapping track, you know? Woo, woo. And um, <laughs> <laughs> when he edit, when he edits it. <laughs> but um, yeah. <laughs> Which makes what you we just have a said very special because guess. Because they just heard it, but hey. Yeah. But yeah. um, but 50 straight weeks, we've been the same people. Your boy, Jormatic, a.k.a. Lao Pad Chopra. It's your boy, Black Dynamite, a.k.a. Shabby. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Shabby Rankin. Oh, yeah, I'm back from the hurricane. It was all fake stories. I, no, I, it wasn't. I evacuated no, it. He's a shame. He's a shame. You don't, you don't, you don't see how slim okay. he looks. You don't see wait. He's you only a shame. On you about to be. How you compliment you know? me, insult me in the same sentence? You see, that's how good I am. You don't even know. But how anyway, to be. who are you? He, oh, it's your boy David Bobaye, <laughs> aka Chico Fantastic Co, aka Debo What Bike. <laughs> <laughs> what bike? <laughs> and this is Flock of Zulu, aka Sir Black Style in the Third, aka Pablo Escovich. And, and with oh sorry, go ahead. No, no, go sorry. ahead, bro. <laughs> and tonight we have a very, very lovely guest, hey. um, Miss. Clapper. What name do you want to go by? Well, it's your girl Erica, aka Cold Red Twenty Seven, aka EA Sports. Hey, hey. Sports, she got the plays, y'all. In the game, in the fucking game. It's in the game. No copyright the game. Right intended. <laughs> <laughs> But um yeah she is she she runs what's the name of um your blog different that you by run? design different, different by design so we have her on tonight we're gonna uh you know give her a little interview ask a couple questions you know uh later on in the podcast well, yeah all, later on in the podcast for, you can find her at be different by design yes dot com be different by design twenty seven on IG oh. Facebook or you can follow my personal page code underscore red twenty seven. Okay. There you go plug, plug, plug. plug. There you go, there we go. They'll all be on the screen depending on how Cam feel, you know. <laughs> <laughs> With the bouncing ball. Um, but um, yes, guys, we got some topics to get into yes, today. We do. Yes, oh we my do. God, some interesting things. So, I was on the internet the other day. You know, that old internet thing. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And um, I came across this article that was titled. Oh, actually, our boy Captain. Yeah, shout out to the captain. Yeah, shout out to the captain. I don't know why I pointed at the screen. I need to swear. <laughs> shout out to the captain. Over there. <laughs> no, but yeah, like the title of the article was that straight black males are the white males of black people. Did I recite yeah. that correctly? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Now, from jump, that title alone is clickbait and problematic. Mm-hmm. It's so clickbaity because when you read the article, it's. It, it kind of talks about that, but not to that extreme. You get what I'm saying? Like yeah. the, the title compared see, to the article. But that's such a straightforward statement, mm-hmm. like yeah. and a bold <clears throat> one, like straight. List. But it but it is very problematic for couple mm-hmm. reasons. But I want to hear, you know, what 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 y'all think first before because based okay. off the title. No, just off the, art, based article. Off, off the article. I think it was necessary. Yeah. No, the, the article or the exactly. title? The, the everything about okay. it. The, okay. the title, the article, everything. And this is coming from a woman's perspective. Mm-hmm. Y'all mm-hmm. wasn't going to get it, hearing <laughs> it from our mouths. Yeah. Like, y'all weren't understanding, and that's what he's saying in the article. Mm-hmm. Like, it took that saying that straight black men are white men for y'all to be like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, I'm not white. Okay. But that- the parallels mm-hmm. of the behavior is uncanny. Mm-hmm. Like, just think about it. Like, you all tell, you know, white men in the police, don't judge me because I have on a hoodie. You know, I'm not a thug. I'm not a gangster. Uh-huh. But what's the first thing you say about a girl if she has, like, a little bit of booty cheek out and some shorts? Or she, she a got hoe, ass. Or I can touch her ass because <laughs> she it. already has it out. And that is very problematic. We'll, we'll get to that. That's we'll get to that. No, okay. wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, no, now, I, I want to say something. No, first. no, wait, wait, wait. And, you, and then they say, like, oh, well, if she don't want her ass grabbed, then she shouldn't have it out. Not even. Erica, you're absolutely right. You ain't say nothing wrong. However, mm-hmm. you cast in a broad 
Like you painted us with a broad brush. Like not like the majority of guys and aren't like that. That's what white men do to black men. That's what white men do. You guys are missing the point. You no. guys are taking offense to it and not seeing what it's about. That's what white people do to black men that they gun down. Mm-hmm. That's what Zimmerman did to Drayvon Martin. Uh-huh. He wasn't seeing him as a black man. That's what Zimmerman did to Drayvon Martin. He wasn't seeing him as an 18 year old, a student, or anything like that. He's seen him as a thug, a black man. That's what Zimmerman did to Drayvon Martin. He wasn't seeing him as an 18 year old, a student, or anything like that. He's seen him as a thug because that's what black men are. Uh-huh. They're criminals, they're thugs, they're this, they're that. Uh-huh. And that is what black men do to black women. Now, trust me, I love black men, mm-hmm. and it is a very very broad statement. I'm not going to say that. It's that's not, all I'm I don't saying. think that all black all men do that. But that's what the purpose of the title was mm. so you can understand that because a lot of men don't. Okay. No, that's, that's true. The the if title. that's the case, then... Yeah. Cause, mm. Hold on, because see, what you did was um, what the article talked about too. You know what I'm saying? Say, well, well you know, not me because uh, a lot of white people do that when we talk about racism. Exactly. Exactly. They're like, well, no, nah, not me. You know, I'm one of the good ones. So even saying that is not really helpful. Mm-hmm. No, even though because it feels like you know. Well, you start. It's look. coming at us. You know, yeah. No, I, I, no, I, I no, no. I understand. Hold Sorry. up. But that was so. that 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 shot. Nigga, took I'm gonna talk this up. time. <laughs> I mean, we. I mean, you 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 kind of speaking to some woke people. So yeah. I mean, uh, but, so yeah. But, yeah. but no. But I feel you though. We I feel put you. Put it out there for everybody. And mm-hmm. actually, the idea is that people are empathetic, and the problem is, men don't put themselves. In general, not just black men, but men in general don't put themselves in the actual thought. Like they don't try to picture themselves in the shoes of a woman, Mm -hmm. right? So even just, you don't even have to think about anything deeper than being a woman, being, you know, naturally by design in many ways, uh, not as strong as men, walking into a party 19 years old and college and every nigga is just oh, oh, looking at yeah. you, hounding you down. That's scary as fuck mm-hmm. if you that's actually think about it. Mm-hmm. Because you, you feel like, oh, shit. Because like, you also know, you hear all the stories that niggas get away with sexual assault and rape mm-hmm. all the time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So if you actually picture that someone can violate your space and you like that at, at, at probably any moment, but you still want to have a life and you want to go out and see what it's like to be you know, grown and the system's kind and, of and you, and you know this, you are aware of this risk. That's scary as fuck to walk with every day. Or you know? and it's kind of designed to prey it. on that type of woman too. That's that's why mm-hmm. like clubs, a woman can get in at eighteen, but yeah, a, you know, a dude that's away to twenty one, they do that so they can prey on. The, you know what I mean? Yeah. 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 So and that's, it's, it's that's really a whole it's, sick it's, cycle. Yeah. 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 But 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 that's the thing. Like when I said that, not in any way was I undermining his message oh. because I fully agree with him because. I've seen, ex- I, I, I don't know if y'all seen examples of it, but I've seen examples of it in front of my face, on Twitter, on Facebook, mm-hmm. through stories. I've experienced you don't, it. I've experienced it enough. Oh, I have no doubt. Where you be yeah. like, you know, this is a fucking problem. Mm-hmm. You, you know what I'm saying? But naturally, when black men hear that, we are going to defend ourselves naturally. But like I said, it's not undermining his message. Right, but, but I- that's... People being defensive in general. Yeah, exactly. But like I said, the, You're naturally the purpose defensive, of yeah. the title was to get men mm. to pay attention because yeah. as a female saying, like, you don't understand what it means to walk down the street and I see a, a group of men down the street and I'm fearful. Yeah. Like, I'm like, well, what can I do to not have them pay attention to me? You could be fully clothed or you can have a booty shirt and a, a bikini right. top. It yeah. doesn't matter what mm-hmm. you have on. Yeah. Even if you have on headphones, you're trying to be like, oh, you might say, they'd be like, hey, what's up? You're like, hi. And you keep walking. Uh-huh. They still might do something. Like, mm. women have gotten killed over rejecting men. Yeah, and I've it's seen like, it. Ugh. Your masculinity that fragile that you have to kill someone because she rejected you? Like, right. yeah. That's weak. It's crazy. Yeah, that's, weak. That, that's one of the weakest things you, you can do. Like, you know. Yeah. It, <sighs> I honestly can't imagine going through every single moment, like, Just, of every single day always being on edge. And um, yeah. like this, this definitely the title brought us in. Like, cause my immediate, I I didn't wait two seconds to even read it. Like, I my, <laughs> my homie posted in the group, and I read it. Yeah, I was like, excuse me. Uh-oh. Yeah. And then I read, it, I was like, okay, all right, you, all you right. made some absolutely <laughs> valid <laughs> points. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> but damn, that title was kind of you know what I'm saying. That's yeah. how I felt. Well, I didn't even get I didn't even get mad at first. Like I read it, I was like, I got like I was taken aback, and I'm like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and he started reading, and then he prefaced. His statement basically, and I'm like, okay, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, that makes well absolute written. sense. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, was, it was very well, well written. And that's now, it. To like, me, to me, he was very. I, I like the message. Deliberate. You know what I'm saying? And it's and it's stuff that I've I've read. You know, s- similar things before, but 
here's why I think the title is problematic, and it's not it's not even because of it, it, I feel like it's a shot so much at black men mm. it, as because it kind of undermines what white men have done to black people. That's what I, I, you, I forgot. Because it's, cause it's like, that yeah, too. the similarities are uncanny when it comes to like, uh, when it comes to like how we deal with people, how we value people, mm. you know what I'm saying? And, and it, is, it is something that, you know, needs to be addressed and needs to be, you know, mm-hmm. be educated on and our, our, black, our black boys need to be trained in, to, to value and respect and respect you know what i'm saying but the thing is a lot america has a, a tendency to always try to downplay their history ex- when, no, facts. especially <laughs> when it comes to their treatment well, of black the negative people. parts mm-hmm. of their history so a part of that narrative is always to compare a one struggle to a mm-hmm. black struggle to try to, to dilute un- to mm-hmm. dilute it mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's why it's like, oh, being gay is a new, being black. Or yeah. being, you know, everything is, they try to compare it to where they don't really, so that you don't really grasp You're, how insidious yeah. and how, you know what I'm saying, l- yeah. how harmful and how, you know, long like that, that process of just mm-hmm. the, not even devaluing, dehumanizing. Yeah, dehumanizing. So to, from that standpoint, I'm like, hold up. You can't make that comparison because you're mm-hmm. trying to dilute. You're kind of giving them like a, a thing. But I, I understand. But even in what you just said, it's it, the parallel is still uncanny. Like you're still, it, it's <laughs> like you're diluting. Yeah. Like they still dilute what women have suffered. How women, how black women and girls are over sexualized. Like sex mm-hmm. trafficking is a serious problem that is not talked about mm-hmm. at all. Mm-hmm. Wow. Like yeah. it's a lot, and like it, it does start with the training of like black youth. Like I feel like with like growing up in school or whatever, if like a boy grabbed your butt, like you know they would laugh about it, and it's not that big of a deal. The teacher might be like, "Oh, don't do that again." But like mm-hmm. it's that is sexual assault. Yeah. Like yeah, they're kids; they don't understand, and that's that teaching moment that mm. learning moment where you say you don't do that you mm. don't touch anybody else mm. but because that happens and it's laughed off and it's okay oh boys just being boys like they grow up to start thinking like it's okay for me to grab a, a yeah woman. because nobody told me otherwise right. exactly mm. yeah. and it's not okay but like it like i said the the parallel is still uncanny it, like yeah. you're still diluting our struggle that we go through all of the history of abuse that women have suffered as well mm-hmm. like trust me like mm-hmm. it, it's a lot like Malcolm X said it best when he said that black women are the most neglected person in America mm-hmm. um, disrespected and mm-hmm. unprotected yeah like we we're all black but then on top of that mm-hmm. we're women mm-hmm. yeah so it's worse it's two mm-hmm. times worse but it's not to compare the struggle but it's like mm-hmm. this article is no, yeah, yeah that that, that was that, that was my that was my um my problem with it like you know Flock of Zulu said it's just a comparison but then I understand what you're saying but how can I put it like naturally we're never going to understand that and feel that way cuz we're not women but like the most we can do is understand and be you know Supported. empathetic so and then supportive, you know what I'm like, saying like like I understand like you want us to understand like I understand as far as I can. Like you, I personally feel like you will never fully understand something unless you've been through it. Right. You know what I'm saying? So we're. I, I feel like we should we should do the best we can to understand because we'll never fully but understand. But then my thing is, I'm always a for what's the mm. the end result? What's the the, the takeaway? What are you gonna do? What's your action plan? So to, yeah, to what are you that. gonna do to change that? So if you see your homeboy doing something out of pocket, are you gonna Call check him out? Yeah, absolutely. Are you gonna be like, all right, hey, bro, yeah. that's not that's yeah. not okay. Bro, like it's one thing to read this article and be like, mm-hmm. all right, I agree with what he's saying, but then it's another to actually put it into action. Yeah, to and change say, like, it. Yeah. That's mm-hmm. not okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's true. You gotta live it twenty four seven. Yeah, sure. You know what I'm saying? People gotta know you can't, you can't speak certain. You know, you can't do, you can't speak or talk about certain things in front of you. Yeah, mm. yeah. Mm. Or certain actions point. aren't just acceptable. Yeah, at all. so exactly. that's true. I mean, she's not a piece of property. She, she's 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 a human, human just being. like you. She's a living human being. Yeah. Now there was one interesting thing um, in the uh, that I took away from the article. Not only. He he put in uh, the perspective that um, not only are black men sort of do are, are are oppressing, even if they aren't oppressing, they have that they might be propagating by oh that's not me, um, 
Oh, so, yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's in turn, gentlemen, gentlemen, so are in turn, are we a part of the problem? That's by saying that we haven't seen it or we we don't do it. Is, is that Are we a part of the problem exactly? In a way, yes. Mm-hmm. Because just saying you don't do anything is not going to help shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It might help a little, your little confidence of how you feel, but that that's nothing. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? If you see something... At the absolute, absolutely least, yeah. If you ain't gonna intervene physically, tell someone. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Help some, like from the small to the large. However you can help, help. Don't like, don't not help. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. saying, oh, it's not me. I, but your yeah, your homeboys, mm. you know, not to get graphic, beating his girlfriend every day. You chill around him. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that's, I'm not yeah, doing that's not cool. It. You know, yeah. I know people that's gone through that. You know what I'm saying? Like so, and like what I take from the story is like, so why didn't you do anything? Why are you telling me? I'm yeah. not the police. I'm not the I'm not the mother. You know what I'm saying? Why are you telling me? Like go mm-hmm. do something about it. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, in a way, yeah. That yeah. that that's very problematic. I think I think we gotta um not be so prideful and let people because some we are people naturally like, you know, especially when people kinda are upset mm. and feel like they're like, you know, you kind of take it personal, like you, they're they're personally berating you, but no, you got to put your pride to the side and understand that they're not talking to you mm-hmm. per se. You know, they're talking mm-hmm. to a situation that you know you're, they're talking to your your the demographic that you belong to. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. You know what I'm saying? So the True. the best thing that you could do is just lower the pride, let that person, and just a perfect example yeah. is when you're talking to, I mean, a Caucasian person about. Just, just the racial, I mean, mm. structure of America, mm. and they automatically take it as you're calling them. No, no, no. I understand. I'm yeah. not saying that <laughs> you're a race. You didn't enslave yeah, anybody. You're true. not a bad person, but your people are. This is, <laughs> I mean, exactly. the country. <laughs> that not is, you. Not the you, rest of you. <laughs> but, but a good majority of y'all. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I I y'all your forefathers, <laughs> they, they oh, might have done some fucked up Sidebar, shit. sidebar racist story. We're going to go right back to the subject. Was, I had a question. Though. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, no, I didn't hear. Uh, I, I apologize. No, that's How it. would you all feel if this was a woman that had wrote this article? Would you have been more receptive to the message? Or oh, absolutely. Like, would you I would have took it. Because she's a woman and she knows way more about it. God forbid she's been through it. She maybe has been through it. So she, she knows, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I would have. You know what though? I I, I legit have never thought of it that way because I don't know. For for me in my personal in my personal life, I I I don't partic- I don't think I particularly act that way. I haven't. You know what I mean? No one I associate myself really acts that way. So right. like I had to I after reading the article about four or five times, I had to, I had to ask my girl and I asked I had to ask a friend of mine. Yo, is this like where where does this happen? Like, is mm-hmm. this is this something you go through every day? Because like, I yeah. I, I hope I treat you with the utmost respect. Yeah. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? So, so um, that's definitely, I don't know. It's it's, it's definitely something. Uh, I give it, it might not be right in front of you, but it's still not something to to kind of brush aside. It's still it's still going on. So, I mean, it's definitely something you got to take note of. Yeah, that's yeah, true. yeah. You have to always look within. You have to be able to be reflective and not just be. Always be prideful and say, no, that's not me. Like, think, wait, yeah. have I ever been a part of this? Mm-hmm. And but chances I, are you have, man. We went If you went to school in America, you was probably a part of it at some point. No, that, of course. That's yeah. a, that, but that, that's a good question. It's unfortunate. You, but. That's a good question you asked, too, though, because I feel like if a woman had wrote it, it, it would have been received even worse. <laughs> be, well, it would have automatically, whether it sounded... Whether anyone can pick apart and say, someone's always gonna say, "Oh, she's being emotional" or something. You know, or male it's always bashing. gonna exactly. It's always yeah. gonna. Yeah. It's always gonna be that. So, it takes, unfortunately, the position of like, of actually being a man to say these things that a woman would say. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like, it's kind of like you white people speaking on you on know, behalf of black uh, people. Yeah, on like or, or, or racial ju- you know, injustice. You know what I'm saying? It's like. For for certain people, you know, they're not. What, what's it saying? You're not a prophet in your own home. You know, they're like you gotta hear it from. Yeah. You know, like a, a different face. Okay. Because from the, from the face you usually hear it from, you might chalk it up to them complaining or them just be whatever. You know what I mean? And it's the same. It's the same with black people. Same with women. You know. But now, oh, so no, no. Here, a question for all of us: How could we change this narrative? Like. Yeah, how could we change this narrative? That's the only way to really ask it. Like, what could we do, like, to 
Can I answer that? Shit? To try to like spread the message and make people more aware of and abreast of it. Education, bro. Mm, yes. That's a, well. That that's my answer to almost anything. Yeah. You know, mm, and true. Because that's where it starts. It all yeah. starts with that, that. that. That's where it starts. You know. I love, uh, for those I, in the know, I'm I kind of in that you know arena. <laughs> but you know, I'm in a position where I interact with the youth on a on a regular basis. Yeah. yeah. So when whenever I have the opportunity, I, I try to, especially the boys. I like I t- I try to make sure that they're upstanding, you know, gentlemen. Like even when they there'll be there'll be times where like they'll threaten to hit a girl like it's young mm. young kids and i'll i'll I pull them to the side and like really like going like, <laughs> yeah, that's what weak niggas do <laughs> like, you know? yeah. 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 Nah, real talk i Yo, would say you... just um i mean conduct yourself treat every woman you come in contact with with the utmost respect like point like think of her as literally she was your mother. Yeah, you know your I mean? sister, your mm-hmm. daughter. Like any any woman cousin, you care yeah. about that you're close to, you give any woman yeah. you come in contact with the same respect. Exactly. Mm-hmm. You be considered, you be gentle, be caring, whatever. I and think it's just having that dialogue on all levels. Like mm-hmm. I have mm-hmm. nephews, so you know, talking to them on this mm-hmm. young age, also talking to girls saying like if you feel some type of way, speak up because mm-hmm. a lot of times we're taught to be passive and be quiet mm. and to shrink in and yeah. mm-hmm. not say yeah. anything if something is bothering us. So if you feel like somebody touched you or did something to you that's not okay, mm-hmm. you need you to let them so. know that Definitely. it's not okay. Mm-hmm. And then also just on my own level, just people that I know, homeboys, just dudes that I date, anybody like having this dialogue and this conversation just to see where people are because you think like, oh, because this person is my friend, we think the same and that's not always the case. Mm-hmm. That's true. Yeah, that's you true. You can't assume it, that. And really? this is one thing social media helps with. It helps to see you. It helps to make you see how stupid people are on subjects like this. Like the tweets I've seen, focus on you know stuff like this, mm. like about consent and all. I'm like, mm. y'all, y'all niggas are rapists. Like th- that's what y'all are. Like, do you they see are. what you just tweeted? Like, read that back to yourself. Yeah. And see if that made sense. Saying that shit to make themselves feel better. Yeah. Shit. They make them feel better, or they do that shit for retweets, and that is. Even worse. Makes me want to throw up. Yeah. It's throw up worthy. Like, nigga, like, like th- think about what you just said. Like, yeah. they don't understand they what don't. consent is and um, uh, what, what's the, you know, no means no and shit like that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm yeah. saying? They come up with these fake <laughs> narratives. Like, come on. Just to make their point. That's the worst part. Mm. <laughs> just to make their point. They're so ignorant. They don't uh, want to see the truth. They want to make their own point. I'm glad you say said some that. Wild if you, shit. If you gotta, if you gotta use a hypothetical situation uh. for your <laughs> argument, you lose, uh, bro. You bruh. lose. Don't tell me no hypo- hypothetical situation. But what if, like, you ever heard them, um, them, them Second Amendment niggas? What if you're in the middle of the night, some crazy dude breaks into your bedroom and tries to kill you and your wife? I'm like, bro, that is not happening. Like you live There's in a point zero zero two percent of chance of that ever happening to you. You're living in a fucking Stephen King movie. <laughs> <laughs> do you do you hear yourself? Like, shut the fuck up. Oh my gosh. But yeah. Like all um, in all, like that that's something that's something like you said, you have nephews, you have y'all ain't got kids. You got sons, you got cousins, or whatever. It, it's Talk real. to them about that, like seriously. But it's even about interaction and making sure that you're comfortable with opposite sex or whatever you want to mm-hmm. call it, too. Like comfortable with being who you are around them, and that starts at an early age, too. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. oh yeah. Sorry, I, I, found, I found one of the tweets. This nigga what? said, "I'm not gonna say his name." Oh God. I'm guessing that if a woman is around a grizzly bear. Already comparing niggas to grizzly bears. She shouldn't take precaution either since the bear should know no means no. Wow. He really what? said that. He Are we really bears, nigga? Like, niggas I, is bears now. You guys <laughs> tell me I don't know this. Nigga. I'm a little bit animals, offended. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. I'm a little offended. I'm like, so we're. <laughs> you, you thought that up. You took first, the energy first out of your body to type it with your thumbs on your phone and then you press send. First, you wanted to compare your weak ass to a the Fuck apex you. predator, man. The <laughs> baddest <laughs> motherfucker. They got top of the fucking beat. And land and water. 
<laughs> that nigga probably like five eight. Nigga, you ain't no grizzly, grizzly. bitch. Like, hey. oh my god, I read that. I was like, no, the grizzly bitch is trying to get that. Nigga, nigga, I'm five eight, man. Please How tell you me you don't think it. Please, you meet a grizzly bear. That's the last time you go see. Hey, but you average height for a male though. You good? But you got sauce. <laughs> but you got sauce though. I'm right? a lion, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Paul, Paul said you got I a appreciate step ladder. you, man. I appreciate you. <laughs> but um, I, yeah, I, man. Like you know, real talk. That is something you know. You have to, like you said, you have to have a talk about the, that with everyone. The, but what's frustrating? Yeah. That nigga will get a hundred retweets. Yeah, yeah. and the nigga with sense will not get no. Yeah, by no. other rapists. Yeah. Yeah. I agree with that shitty narrative because yeah. I do it too. Oh, they find yeah, yeah. yeah grizzly bear. Yeah. But you know where it starts when they small, and yeah. a lot of a lot of moms mm-hmm. do this shit too. I've seen it that too. Like they yeah. they think they that shit's cute. Kids, yeah. Oh, yeah, man. you see you play that? No, yeah. that shit ain't nah, cute. Shit ain't Running cute, under women's them, dresses. Them it's niggas not appropriate, gonna be man. the fuck boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah Running exactly. Under, under women's <laughs> dresses. You think that shit cute now? He's gonna be a heartbreaker. Like, no, he's gonna be a rapist. No. Wow! <laughs> I actually got that from somebody stand up. <laughs> Damn, it's like still almost, funny though. It's somehow less funny now. He wanted to plagiarize so bad. <laughs> I was like, "This is an opportunity. <laughs> I'm gonna take it." His integrity wouldn't let him do it. I appreciate that. Yeah. <laughs> we, we all on do. on to talk. the next subject. Snitch on yourself. Hard transition. Hard oh. transition. <laughs> sometimes you got. Sometimes you. you gotta be. I'll fuck you sometimes you. you gotta be authoritative with your transitions, my nigga. You right. You we right. Can't, we can't be dancing around these motherfucking transitions. We got yeah, to right. do. Yeah, you right. Be right. All right. right. The question yeah, is, do we have we to comment been, on every like transition? Can shit. we just let the transition? See, now I'm gonna happen comment on your comment. No, I'm just kidding. This is why we couldn't let the transition just happen. Yeah, but this is a transition. This is the beauty of. Comedy and everything, but anyway, go ahead, <laughs> <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. We just tangented, yeah, <laughs> our transition tangentation Word. 50th episode special, right? Here. Well, and y'all witnessed 5 0 almost live. That so, was a, so that was what we call a transitional, was it wild, wild ass, ass tangent? Oh, oh, I thought good. you were gonna say wild yeah, ass yeah. transition. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I, I think we can give that a sh- you with it, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. She doesn't want to do it. Like, do it. We're it. not it. forcing you. Like, <laughs> I know it's, it's corny. It's I'm cheesy, cool but... it. I suggest you enjoy it. <laughs> so <people> like it. <laughs> what if we had the audience join? Ready. All right, y'all ready? Ready, guys? ready? So, y'all just witnessed the very first TPSG. Wild ass transition. We're going to cut a record deal after this. Fuck you, yeah. nigga. The acoustics in this room are fantastic. Right, they are fantastic. <laughs> Bouncing on and off the Yo. walls is lovely. Yeah. Stay tuned for Sir Black Stallion and the nigga lights. <laughs> and the nigga lights. Yes. And the okay. oh, crawl daddy and the shrimp. Because <laughs> you're all shorter. Uh, See, anyway. So yeah, and and the niggas ask why you got to be firm with your transitions. Anyway. <laughs> so courting on a budget. Oh, a.k.a. Dayton broke. Yeah. Dayton Bro, <laughs> yeah. So the question is, AKA y'all seen hold on, to twenty three. Y'all seen Insecure, right? Oh, I love that show. Yeah. Okay, it's beautiful. So I mean, this this goes out to the Lawrence's of the world. <laughs> Lawrence Hive, <laughs> Lawrence Hive. Yeah, yeah. 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 What's up, hey, Lawrence yeah. Hive. Lawrence Hive. <laughs> Stay faithful, fellas. You gonna get everything you want. Everything. Exactly. <laughs> Yo, a partner. Hey, fuck them hoes, but fuck them hoes. Yeah, <laughs> fuck them hoes. Man. And fuck a nigga named Lawrence Daniel. Lawrence Hyde, baby. <laughs> fuck a nigga named Daniel. Fuck a nigga named Daniel, man. I'm gonna fuck if your name ain't Daniel in real life, nigga. <laughs> what kind of nigga named Daniel? Man? You ruined them. <laughs> fuck it, Daniel. Nigga, you put another L on that bitch, you a bitch. Daniel. Daniel. Nigga, you too close to a girl, yeah, bitch. Hey, Daniel, my bad, dog. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Real Daniel. Yeah, yeah, Daniel. Oh, oh yeah, no. Shout out to the captain. Nah, you, you straight. Nah, 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 nah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> word. All right, all right. So, <laughs> how, how broke can your man be? Or how broke can a guy be to start dating? <laughs> to start, like, no, but you're in a safe place. <laughs> <laughs> to start, like so, he approaches you. Y'all been texting a little bit. So I mean, to me, being broke and struggling is just two different things. Broke is like you just ain't got no money. Like you mm-hmm. just mm-hmm. don't have money for anything. Mm-hmm. 
I mean, you could be frugal, which I'm fine okay. with, because I know yeah. like some people feel some type of way if a dude like takes them on a date and they use a Groupon or whatever. I don't care. Sure, Those dude. be the best. Get dates. over yourself. That's, That's a smart. That's a smart nigga. Those you be the find best it out. dates. Just interesting things. Like, what you mean? That's why we came here. Yeah. This is my thing. You like, think I download a group phone? Don't you want to know that I could budget in real life? <laughs> <laughs> everything is about priorities. So you shouldn't be trying to take me to no five star mm. restaurant when you know that your rent is due, your car note due, you got all these bills and you haven't paid not. Man, none of them. See, mm-hmm. these are thoughts from a grown woman. <laughs> That's exactly what this is. Not a little mm-hmm. girl, grown woman with like, priorities. No, don't, don't <laughs> like, don't try to impress me. Be yourself. Like, okay. I don't need okay. to go to know. You know, it's my spice is extended, by the way. So yeah, oh, it, yes. That's the only benefit of the end of October. <laughs> <laughs> so out. you know, all those dudes out there that are um, struggling. Mm-hmm. Oh, and, and uh, uh, there's a seafood festival, festival you, coming up. If you don't like coral gables, oh sorry. No, that was my bad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now, is is there is as far as dating goes, as far as the money goes, like, let's say he takes you on the first date mm-hmm. and his car declined. If the date was good, I don't mm-hmm. mind paying. If it was a good date, if I enjoyed the date, I enjoyed uh-huh. your company, you had an amazing conversation. Like, I don't mind paying because it happens sometimes. You know, like now, you might have thought that. It came out of your savings and we did a check in, but it didn't do that. Like, so. I, I got to trust my savings. I check in. It didn't take three you days. It's the way my bank account set up. You, you, you got to wipe that. it on your jeans. <laughs> <laughs> he might have thought that happened and it didn't. So, you know, if the car, if the date was amazing, then fine. Mm. But if you. If I so was, it has to be amazing? Good. It has to be a I'll good date. I'll fuck with you. I'll fuck with you. I'm just it has playing. to be a good date. <laughs> if I was like cringing the whole time and like, damn, I'm ready to go, if that shit declined, I'm like, ooh, ooh. excuse me, can you just give me my. <laughs> 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 He can watch the dishes for his. Bust them suds, nigga. What you mean? You better roll up the sleeves. We got palm olive. Your hands will be good. Roll up the sleeves on that polo shirt you bought. (laughs) (laughs) Which is why he couldn't afford the date. Oh, shit. You just got to be honest with yourself. You got to be real with yourself. If you know you are not financially able to start dating, don't do it. Okay. Fair enough. A real one. Yeah, I mean, okay. for me, when I'm dating, like, whatever I'm asking of you, I want to bring that same thing to the table. So I can't be asking you to be like, oh, you got to take me five-star. Mm. I hope I'm able to take you to a five-star restaurant, too, then, if I'm asking for it. So, mm. But that's just Equality. me. Equality. That's just me. Okay. <laughs> okay. Word that makes true. sense. No, no, no. That makes that makes great Word. sense. True. Because, I mean, when we pose a question, there's there's different levels mm-hmm. of bro. That's what I said. <laughs> there's the... <laughs> There's yeah, the broken struggle. Like word. Said. There's the I'm gonna take you out during happy hour, bro. <laughs> there's the we may need to split the check, bro. There's the we not we about to go to the beach and vibe. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yo, fellas, do not sleep on the beach date at night. Don't sleep on it. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta be careful though. I yeah. went on the beach date at night and we seen rats. Oh yeah. It was Which a, beach was that? This is for a lot of the beach. It was oh, a look. it was a fun day. Go to Hollywood. Go to Hollywood Beach. That's the Hollywood. best night beach. But we seen right. <laughs> oh yeah. Hollywood Beach is the best night beach. I don't know why it it just is. <laughs> I heard that's a good sign on the day. Yeah, you have to see right. I didn't, right. I didn't, I didn't hear that. I didn't kind hear like that. Rain anymore. on a wedding. <laughs> <laughs> it's like rain <laughs> on your wedding day. <laughs> Sorry, but <laughs> <laughs> now, fellas, we were on our first date and a rat ran by, and that's how, that's when I knew he was the one. He was the one. <laughs> 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 it that's was about to be. You <laughs> <laughs> it all oh, but your name ain't never left. <laughs> 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 now, fellas, this is questions for us. Mm. How broke will you allow yourself to be? Like, do you think you ever Wait, be in a position you, where before, before you go before you start dating? Yeah. Oh, okay. Like, do do you think you'd be in a position where, let's say, you just you can't afford to sleep? You know what I'm saying? But you like this girl so much, and you wanted to feel that genuine, you know, whatever. You still ask her, even though you broke. You ever been in that situation? I will tell her straight up. I'm gonna just be real. All right. Yeah. Be and real. Straight up. That's, that's all you can. Res- mm-hmm. I can respect that. Like, you, if that's you it. claim you like me so yeah. much, just be real with me. And if I'm actually feeling you and feeling that vibe, I can respect that you as a man are, are telling me like, "Hey, mm-hmm. I'm having this <clears throat> issue right now. You know, I'm trying to get back on my feet, and then we <laughs> go from there." But I'm gonna take. Nah. Be even more truthful. Like, I'm not trying to get back on my feet. 
I'm broke. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> likes me. No, I'm kidding. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> if you're a bum, that's, get back? that's a bum. No, I mean, yeah, no, that's a bum. That's a legit. I'm not. Imagine I'm going to a chick like, look, I am not trying to get back on my own. I don't got I, I really like I'm you. Like I'm that. where I am, and <laughs> this is where I'm going. This is where I'm going. I'm, I'm I don't got no money, but that's because I don't really like working. <laughs> and so. I don't really like working because I'm lazy. <laughs> it don't lazy to go out of shape. It don't <laughs> out of shape, cause, but I like you, though. <laughs> you know, you're pretty like cool. You so so. Much. But you know what's crazy? That might work sometimes, because you know how women like projects. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to build this nigga from the ground up. Or if you just want to tell somebody what to do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, like, like a... Like a, um, like a Stedman? <laughs> Stedman. Yeah, Stedman is probably a very established individual. Yo, I think so. I haven't <laughs> seen him in years. Is Oprah like... <laughs> <laughs> what did Oprah do to Stedman? That's the name of his episode. What happened to Stedman? <laughs> 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 Hashtag find Stedman. <laughs> He's chilling at one of Oprah's mini cribs. It was his mini cribs. Like, yeah. One of her mini cribs. Like laying mm-hmm. back and eating. I feel, like, I feel like he's so rich, he can get drunk anywhere in America and have somewhere to sleep. <laughs> He just Probably. stumble home anywhere. Yo, I, mean, <laughs> yo, I bet, I bet Stedman is like the best two K player in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Stedman's the one. On, who are the number one on two K boards? That's that nigga, Stedman. That nigga on the sticks. <laughs> Stedman on home. <laughs> but uh, I told you right. not to interrupt me playing my sticks. <laughs> He gotta move so he gotta move so she don't find him in the same place she left him. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! When did this become a step in roast session? Oh no! But look, this per- is going on Instagram. <laughs> step in roast session. But 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 personally, I don't know, dog. I'm I'm kind of old school and I'm very mm. prideful. So if my pockets ain't right, Facts. I'm not even going. I'm not even gonna yeah. try it. However, I'm in it, when I'm in hustle mode and I'm broke. I'm not even thinking. However. Love overpowers everything, and love will overpower your pride. He's such a if you meet nigga, bro. the right person, <laughs> let me ask you this. It's facts, though. Let me ask you this: because you look at your pockets, you check your bank account, like fuck it. I like oh, this no. girl. She gonna take. What me if home. she oh, approaches no. you though? What if she's like, okay. you, you know, you ain't really been saying nothing. She's like, hey, I want to take you out on a date. I mean, that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. Like that's. I fine. never turned out fool. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not opposed <laughs> to it, but I'm not gonna look. For it, unless until my my pocket's straight, like I feel like yeah. I'm straight. Yeah, like I don't feel like like I'm not I'm not I'm not the like I'm not gonna be too aggressive unless I'm not on the prowl until I feel right with exactly. myself. Exactly. Now, if you approach me, yeah, I'm uh, I'm open to it, but yeah. until if, I'm right, I'm not okay. Okay, my eyes aren't really set on that. If yeah. I was ever approached with an offer like that, yeah, and I was single and broke, I would have said. <laughs> You came at the perfect time in my life. <laughs> that's real. Though. We should look more into this. That's yeah. real. Though. Oh yeah, that's yeah. Not, Cause when that that's the that's ty- that's God, man. Yeah, that's for God, real. Man. real. Yeah, that's the what that's the, the girl that you are willing to pay, and I can. Well, that's the girl. <laughs> that's the girl that finds you right before you blow up. <laughs> I'm like, oh, not only are you a blessing, but. I'm finna blow up. I'm finna, I'm finna blow that's Miss Hold You Down, right? There. I'm gonna yeah. bless your life. That's yeah. what I'm gonna do when I blow up. That, then, that's what that's what women do, dog. Like mm-hmm. they come in and, and they like that extra. Damn, I need to get my life. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I gotta do better for her. She, yeah, she, like Jack Nicholson said, a movie you make me want to be a better man. <laughs> What movie is? So we we call it we call it Jack Nicholson. Over Jack in movies, it's called <laughs> it's called as good as it gets. He actually yo, got an Oscar for that movie, I think. Ain't that a, somebody wrote gets, that yo, script that, and he's quoting Jack Nicholson? Ain't that a bitch? That, that, no, that no. movie was amazing. Dog. That's a that's Granted, a proof. I don't know who wrote the, the script. But I that's that's us. proof that nerds <laughs> don't get ahead really. But I'm a writer myself. As good as it gets. Yeah. That's a really W. Yeah, it's mad yeah, W. It's mad W, but it's a lot of old W's in love. I, I'm pretty sure most people watching this podcast don't know that movie. <laughs> Jack Nicholson <laughs> in As Good As It Gets. If you know As Good As It Gets, comment with a bruh. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, if you know As Good As It Gets, we on the same level, you know, same way. And, and if you don't, comment anyway. Yeah. <laughs> now, on to the chunky part of it. Let me hear some stories of... Like broke broke date experiences. <laughs> oh. Arrogant first, of course. To not be, you don't have to say names or nothing. No, to Just, be honest, I've never. Okay. I've never had a, like a date where they've been broke. 
Oh, I've oh, always, hey. That's because make sure you put your pinky out. <laughs> you said you need to have your pockets in check. You gonna come by? Niggas me. know no, not to. I approach. mean, they've been. I've had pick me up in your jet. I've had creepy pick me up at all. Just smell that hold shit on, hold on. And you walk up to her like, um, excuse me, what? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why are you here. <laughs> <laughs> well, you you've had creepy days. I've had yeah. creepy days. Tell us oh, about that. If you don't mind. Yeah. So you know. Is he in the room? The, no. <laughs> so at one point I hopped on the Tinder train, you know, just to oh see Lord. what it was about. Like pack train. And you know, the dude he seemed okay in conversation, so we like met up because I was not hopping in nobody's car. You mm-hmm. cannot come to my house. I don't know you. And we met up. I can't remember what restaurant. But, you know, we was talking. His conversation was just weird. He was telling me about the what-ifs that happened in college. He wish he did that. He wish he did that. And I was like, oh, okay. But, you know, I, as the date was, like, winding down, he was like, you know, make sure you mark this date on your calendar. And I was like, for what? And he was like, you know, because this is our first date. So when we can, you know, let people know when we get married. Whoa. Whoa. He talked about marriage on the first date? He, I was like, oh, okay. Got in my car. I never, I unmatch <laughs> real quick. <Wow. laughs> real quick. Uh oh, uh oh. People are. Oh, sorry. We have so a married man in the audience. In the audience that did that on the first date. He spoke about That's marriage nice. on the first date. <laughs> but I, it just depends on the, the the date it itself wasn't that great, and uh-huh. so for him to add that was just even. Worse. Yeah, like literally, you couldn't be further, be further from the all. truth. He could not read it at all. Mm-hmm. If it's real, it's real. You know, you, you know what's funny? Like, the 12th girl down the line is going to work. Right. And, and at I'm, their wedding, you know, you know he told me. Down. <laughs> it was so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I'm just kidding. And his Hell brothers no. and his cousins going to be like, man, that motherfucker. Shit after every girl. Every one of them, man. Gotta All of them look down. Don't fuck his marriage up, though. <laughs> but, but no, dudes usually come correct when they take me on a date. Okay, so mm. you, you, you yes. bet to know. She exudes yes. excellence. Yes, you bet to know. They smell that excellence. Uh-huh. They act accordingly. Come correct. <laughs> For real. So, Flock of Zulu, I want to hear your story. Oh, man. Mine was back when I had Betsy. Oh, ah, old Betsy, RIP. Few people remember Betsy because she didn't last that long. <laughs> she died after like three months of me having her. Jeez. Yeah. So, <laughs> I don't even remember where we went. I just remember the drives there and the drive back. Wow. Because what, what kind of car was Betsy? It was a 93 Honda Civic. Nah. And the round ones. Yeah. <laughs> the bubble Civics. Yeah. yeah. So, on both occasions when I parked, my car died. Oh. But to hide it. <laughs> I just used the momentum to just pull into the parking space. <laughs> <laughs> I just parked the car. Like, you ready to go? <laughs> Captain Finesse. All right, let me tell you. The car, if it, it was automatic. But if you didn't keep it revved, it would shut off. <laughs> like a stick. Yeah. That's weird. <laughs> yeah. So, like, at stop at stoplights, I had to, like, throw my car in neutral Threw up the e-brake to stop the car and just keep revving the car. <laughs> wow. And well, your timing was way off. The, uh, sometimes it'll, it'll die in the middle of me driving. I'll throw the neutral, start the car up, throw it back in the drive as I'm rolling. <laughs> <laughs> so that's, you, some, that's some cat that's no some car fuck James you up. No, can't no car fuck you up. Bro, bro. like <laughs> I used to leave my car unlocked, dog, because like you can't steal this. You're not going to get far. <laughs> <laughs> this one is like, I'm, only I know how to drive this car. <laughs> hey, now what did? If you weren't on the inside of that car, you would never know. <laughs> never ever know that this, this man's car just died in the middle of driving. <laughs> yeah, so that's great. Yeah, I took on a date in in, in in Betsy, and it died like a couple times. Well, throughout the date, like Damn. yeah, and she was like, "Are you? Are we, do we need to?" <laughs> At one point, she was like, "Do we need to call someone?" I'm like, "No, we we gonna get there. We gonna <laughs> we gonna have a good time, baby." <laughs> <laughs> wow. About to take you to the theater. <laughs> hey, no worries, baby. Some popcorn and some gun yeah. hey, no worries, baby. Yeah. It's all pies. good, baby. <laughs> they gotta have moon pies and coke. <laughs> oh, snap. <laughs> that was that one time. That one time Where, band camp. You know, you know when you take a girl out 
and you spend way more money than you plan to spend. Don't remind me. Yeah. And she's just like every time. <laughs> so we we Damn. we go out, and our, the original plan was to watch a movie. Mm-hmm. But by the time we get there, the movies are closed. So what time did you? What? <laughs> First, what time was, did you get there? Why was like, did y'all get to the at movie midnight? <laughs> <laughs> it was at it was at Aventura, and apparently Aventura ain't open as late as like movie co and them places open. They close oh, early. They used to be. Like that. Shit. So That's we buzzard, bro. so we <laughs> went over there. The movies were. The movies are closed. All right. So as we're leaving, we're passing Cheesecake Factory. Nah, <laughs> shit. Ooh la la. <laughs> Whose idea you, was you it? You fucked and up, she, man. And she goes, "Hey, why don't we just eat at Cheesecake Factory?" <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> this just, looked down like you know that. You know that. You know that. You know that meme where that lady's like going like this, and there's all type of like mathematics. <laughs> like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> You was, you was like having a hangover, man. I was, like, yeah. I was like, I was like, damn, 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 I carried it too. Damn, I got About this to much in the mind myself out of this shit. All right, I gotta get an appetizer and water. Don't even ask for lemon. It might be extra. I haven't been here before. <laughs> Bro, I got, I went in. I got an appetizer and I got a beer and the brown bread. <laughs> that brown bread be busted though. She, that's for the free though. She got one of them exactly. fucking like. Big ass drinks that they bring in a martini oh. glass with the fucking. It had a uh, toy and a straw. Yeah, dog. Yeah, nah. <laughs> that was them drinks. for fucking up on being not, not, not knowing the movies was closed. She got, <laughs> she got a big ass appetizer. She got a big ass entree. Damn, she got you for the nah, free dough, bro. Nah, bro. No, no, no. She, yeah, she hits you up for the free meal, you, my hey, nigga. Bro, standalone what movie you, theaters from now if on. If you didn't say you were broke for the beginning, once you saw that shit happen, like, oh, we're, we're, we're split this. We're <laughs> like, you just, just say it abruptly. No, no, we're split this. Nah, fuck That's that. That's hilarious. <laughs> That's it for the break me on one dick. You got hungry? <laughs> No, I see dog. You know you ain't none of it, dog. We boxed up all that shit. <laughs> I was so high. So you bought to go food. I got bought to go. Oh, I was. Wow. It was the most expensive to go food ever, dog. <laughs> I'm like, we might as well wet the wing stop. You just gonna bring a box on? Damn it! Bro, she was probably <laughs> tweeting while she was there. Dog. Cheesecake Nigga Fox just got paid half it. paycheck. Gone. <laughs> Finesse another bill. Ooh, for next time. <laughs> Wait, nah, that's the exact man. tweet that happened. Oh shit, that's horrible. I mean, All yeah. girls don't finesse meals. Like no, no, no. Of course not. Of course yeah. not. I've never done that. Before. Nah, you gotta be a real for me. That bro. karma, yeah. I can't live with that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Finessing meals. You ain't finesse. never finessed a meal. I've never, never fin- in your life. Never not in high school. Fin- not in high school. I was a good girl in high school. <laughs> I never finessed a meal. That karma, I don't want that. Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. Nah, you're a good person. Can't do See it. that there, that there, that's there as a good woman. <laughs> you know what's me? Mm-hmm. My. Nigga, <laughs> <laughs> Negro <laughs> My experience is pretty much what uh, Erico was saying. Just uh, you know, just going a little bit through, you know, in between paychecks. How it go? About you know, five days left. Ask to take you, you know, ask to call her up. What are you trying to do? But I'm a little bit broke. I mean, we were talking for a little bit. I mean, so we just went to nowhere expensive. She just, what well, she suggested, Denny's, actually. You know she I mean? suggested it. Yeah. Okay, okay now. So. Denny's a, is a good date spot. I'm going to tell you why after you finish your story. <laughs> oh, that's that's it. I mean, so, <laughs> yeah, be, being a hundred works. That's, that's mine. That's my one experience. Yeah, or, at least oh, yeah. mine. Oh. Oh yeah, De- yeah. Denny's is because Denny's is so quiet. Mm. It's one of those places like if you if you need to have that's the place you take to have have a conversation for yeah. real. for real. facts. Because they gonna they gonna put you like twelve miles away from the nearest <laughs> other person eating. <laughs> it's gonna be you way over here, and then it's gonna be like a You're random right. old couple. And then a random nigga studying like all the way. (laughs) (laughs) And and occasionally you have that one big crowd. Yeah. Like 10 people. Oh, yeah. But they're just leaving as you come in. Yeah. Um, Mm -hmm. Like for me, probably like the worst thing was that I didn't have a whip at the time. Mm. So again, being prideful, you know, she was driving around everywhere and... I'm about 6'1", but sitting in her car, I felt so small. I was just like, <laughs> tell, 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 me tell, me tell me she drive me around. 
was a bad first impression. You need to get a car, nigga. Like, you so know what, what your smart car was it? Yeah. Was it anyway, a, um, <laughs> <laughs> you in a smart car? No, nah, it, it was a Hyundai. It was like an accent. Oh, that's a it's smart not much car. bigger. That car is literally the size of an accent. That's that <laughs> <a> smart car. <laughs> but um, yeah, yeah, that, that, that was the worst of it. I, you know, my my pride just got the best of me. You know, like you you supposed to be driving. You supposed to be, you know, doing this. You supposed to be doing that. So yeah, man, Bro, pride's a motherfucker, I, ain't it? Oh boy, is it. I think during the time I was single, I had to bust it. I had to beat her anyway, so like you wasn't gonna get in the car if you wasn't really trying to ride with me. <laughs> <laughs> Once you see the car, like, like, yeah. hey, just letting you know, my paint job ain't right up the middle. <laughs> that That's not a racing strike. But it looked good on the side at night when it's wet. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be alarmed. I gotta stop my car. It's gonna side, sound man. like a gunfire. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's still gonna be dancing, baby. <laughs> so I got this timing belt thing. So when I start the car, you're gonna hear that. Eh, yeah. Don't worry about it. I'm gonna get it fixed. <laughs> Eventually. <laughs> we gonna get there though. We gonna get. There. Oh, you hit him. And we gonna get back home. Man, I was mm-hmm. supposed to fix it today, but my mechanic playing around. I gotta <laughs> wait till next Tuesday. <laughs> but, I guess um, the worst thing was in summertime. I I had that whip, but with no AC for like a good. And it was like a hot summer too, bro. And you like, win. I used to drive to work with no shirt on, and then put my shirt on walking into work. That's how hot it was. So be. you were sweated out, yeah. I feel you, yeah, dog. To the, that's smart, though. Yeah, yeah. you know, I have a, <laughs> no AC in the summer in Miami. <laughs> that's literally torture, literally. Bro. literally. <laughs> and I feel wild at, like talking about. I have a sweat. I, have, I do like a sweatshirt technique. So if I'm going somewhere, like I'll have, I'll wear a shirt. Just for I'm bringing a shirt, yeah, just to sweat in. Yeah. So at the yeah. end of the drive, like, I take off that shirt. Put on the Literally shirt. a sweat a yeah. shirt. shirt. Put the ball on yeah, the sweat shirt technique. Man. Like if it's over a half an hour drive, dog, no, like all this. Yeah. 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 Half an hour. Mid back. Yeah. You ever, you ever feel sweat? Fall down your back walking to your car? <laughs> bro. Oh, you right <laughs> getting the in the car. Bro. I think that happened today. <laughs> After you just got fresh. It make you do that. <laughs> yeah, and like trying to catch it. You know, this hot weather is just, you know, more proof that, you know, Mother Earth is upset at us. Yes. yes. Like this is ridiculously hot. It's crazy. It's ridiculously Ridiculous hot. Storms. The world going crazy. Yeah. Like even like, down to the weather, yeah. I mean, no, our very own dramatic was found butt naked in a tree after Hurricane Irma. I mean, <laughs> word. That's the wildest thing I ever. That's seen. the wildest you know? thing ever. <laughs> as iconic as a two by four through the palm tree after Andrew. Oh, That's that was crazy. Yeah, yeah, that, was, yeah, that image yeah, is like yeah. burned into my. And for those of y'all who don't know, know, I think I just said it. You could probably Google it. <laughs> yeah, but um, yeah, man, Mother Earth is like she she she's PMSing right now, like throwing out hurricanes. <laughs> No, she's. <laughs> <laughs> that is as mad as fuck. Right, we just talked about this. Right after the, you can't, you, you can't, you, you can't do like that, that to teach niggas. You can't put that to just like that. You can't. Put that to just like that. Right. You can't put Mother that Earth that is upset it. at us. Exactly. That's, she's cool. very PMS upset. PMS doesn't happen when a woman is mad. <laughs> I guess you Mother can. Earth is like, man, y'all are just fucking me up, and I'm about to annihilate all of y'all real <laughs> quick. Word. And like, or one could argue that revelation is coming to pass. Nah, the Earth <laughs> yeah. is cleaning in itself, hey, man. That's what all these systems do. Forest fires, earthquakes, hurricanes, all these natural systems, they cleanse it. If we weren't here, they would occur naturally. Well, you know our, what I mean? Yeah. Our lifetime is so short in comparison to, say, the lifetime of these living things around us mm-hmm. true that are not mammals and shit right. <laughs> mammals yeah. and shit right. you like know, things we forget are actual living things yeah right. like the earth has been here and it looked different a long time ago yep. mm-hmm. and we're not gonna know what it's gonna look like period in uh, the next yeah three thousand years a thousand years that's that's, that's true you might even think about rather, you know. but some some <laughs> some crazy shit is like is happening dog like there's there's a hurricane going to New York, bro. Mm-hmm. That's not That's the happens. first time. But like, that when happened, you th- like 2014, I think. But the thing, it's but Sandy. yeah, but it's like, it's like Sandy. Sandy. Sandy, yeah, I think that was 14. But that, but that's crazy, dog. Because when you think of like the hot, like the the hot water cli- like conditions that you need for a hurricane to start, for some for a hurricane to go that north, yeah, mm-hmm. that that's well, crazy. Sandy and, was crazy. 
Yeah. Yeah. But the thing is, like, at, at first, and I mean, it is it is this, you know, I was thinking the uh, it's global warming, but like everything that's been going to earthquakes. Yeah. Um, forest fires. Forest fires. I, I'm not sure how true the video was. It's my fault for not checking the office authenticity of it. <laughs> but there was a video of uh, somebody took a Trinidad with like locusts on some biblical yeah. shit, on some. Mm. Like there were locusts all over Trinidad. Like once again, I'm not sure how true it was. Mm. But I, saw the video. I didn't. Check I saw into the video it too. I don't know if it was recent or when yeah. it was, but that was it, crazy. Yeah, crazy. maybe it wasn't recent. Maybe it wasn't even Trinidad. You know, <laughs> <laughs> it was somewhere. It was somewhere. It was somewhere. Like, it was you, you can watch the video. And say, okay, this is in Photoshop, but this probably happened a long time ago. It's probably not happening now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But mm. but there's know, places just, where that happens where they have like huge locusts, yeah. like migration. Like I think when they when they hatch. Like they they hatching like swarms and junk. Yeah. And like certain regions, like yearly, they they see it coming. But like it's imagine coming out the it's womb, just all going over there. there. Where <laughs> what is on another right level, now. dog? Like like Mexico level. got hit with two crazy earthquakes. Um, earthquakes. Huge earthquakes. And both Huge of them were over seven, right? Devastating. Seven point one and eight point one. Yeah. yeah. Insane, dog. That's crazy. Back That's to back. Devastating. I think the death toll. Last one I checked yesterday was two thirty. So yeah, somewhere around there. Yeah, so like that's that was the last time I saw. Oh, like, blessings and prayers go out to Mexico and everyone affected. That's crazy. Dude. Now, I had a conversation with somebody about this, um, about how, you know, because there's a belief system that you know the Earth is you know in turn in tune, you mm -hmm. know, mm -hmm. metaphysically or spiritually with you know with everything, everything. And with everything that's going on with the world politically, <coughs> like. This is kind of like a direct answer to that, you mm -hmm. know, all this stuff going on in the world, and the Earth is kind of just responding to that. Well, how y'all think? What What do you guys think about that? Um, I would say, I would say it's a starting gun. So like, you know how you got a race going, and like all this shit is building up to it. Like the races get there, that they're warm enough, that they're loosening up, and mm -hmm. and that's all the shit we've been doing to the Earth, and that's all the shit's been going on, and then the gun pop just happened, you know. Last yeah. September, and it's and kind of been a downhill slope horrible. since then. And then, not to, you know, scare anyone, somebody predicted, a numerologist predicted that mm. the world would end on Saturday. What an asshole. Man. Wait, as in, <laughs> as in yeah. this Saturday as or on a the 23rd rest? of September. <laughs> so if you listen to this well, podcast, <laughs> that means you made it. Congratulations. Yeah, if, if you listen to this podcast, you're probably in the Mad Max, Book of Eli type world. <laughs> You so know, we've all gone underground. We're not, not going to get paid time. for it. We don't give a fuck about plays. We just want to yeah. comfort you in the time of um, <laughs> post-apocalyptic If you discovered living. this under the <laughs> rubble of a once tall building. Word. This, is, <laughs> this, this is what humans look like before the radiation. <laughs> but yeah, man, like th that, that's very plausible, though, because... Bro, don't say that. Yeah. <laughs> don't, after, after, after you no, done no, said no, the world no. going on Saturday, nigga. That's why I said not to start. I had plans for next week, <laughs> nigga. You know, nigga, I'm supposed to go to the beach Saturday. Yeah. Yeah. I'm about to catch a suit out. I, mean, I, can, I can agree with what you're saying, though, because like Trump doesn't care about anything. Like uh, All of those bills literally. and laws and everything that we had intact for the environment, that's gone. That's like, yeah. Oh, yeah. It got anything to do with Obama? Scrap that. Yeah. yeah. So like now, what's going on with global warming and everything happening to the environment is not even a priority. It's not even a, you know, mm. trying to come up with a solution to see how we can reverse this or like not oh. do as much damage. And mm. it's just like, yeah, yeah. this the outcome pretty much. Yeah, like there's no initiatives on clean energy, or at least not anything being pushed to the forefront mm. from our government mm. right mm. now. What's what's frustrating? Oh my bad. No, like he literally removed us yeah. from a from a from a proactive plan. I mean, came. I mean, yeah. came that literally a bunch of nations came up with yeah. just yeah. so. I mean, his special interests or whatever special interests are benefiting from this can make an extra dollar. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Mm -hmm. How selfish is that? Yeah, that's crazy, dog. <laughs> and what's what's frustrating is that they can't even blame like not being able to mm -hmm. like the technology is there mm -hmm. yeah you know what i'm saying if america wanted to be a hundred percent um renewable energy um 
Or like 100% like not using fossil fuels. We could do it tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If the powers that be wanted to, that it could be implemented right away. I, I read a couple of years ago, I read up an article of somebody creating this thing where um, the roads could be used as solar panels. Yeah. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Like the whole. So that's like. Imagine that's so how smart. much. Like, you don't need any. Ex, you, we don't need any extra fields. Or any extra space. The literal roads that you drive on could connect energy, could could absorb energy for us. Mm-hmm. There's power. You know what I'm saying? It's mm-hmm. already it's already painted black, so it soaks and gets hot as fuck to where you can fry an egg on the road in the yeah. summertime. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's already soaking up that energy. Mm-hmm. So we could harness that energy on power houses. You know what I'm saying? We could put a a solar panel which are, which are getting cheaper mm-hmm. every yeah. day. Harness energy, wind. Um, turbine with water, like it's there. Yeah, it's all there. It's all there, and people. I don't know. It's it's just it's just frustrating. That but then just, corporations want to make money that way. It's, it's all the end exactly. game is always money. Always, mm-hmm. it's always and, uh, <coughs> of the of the select few that are in yeah. power because they got yeah. most of the money. And money is so important to them that they will encourage mm-hmm. human suffering and death to get to it. You know what I'm saying? Like, and <clears throat> one thing I noticed about this stuff is that it's. I wouldn't say it desensitized us, but it just kind of made us like brush over a couple of things. Like the uh, the other day, I found out like the entire island, not half of it, a quarter of it, the entire island of Puerto Rico yeah. is without power. Can you imagine an entire? You couldn't fathom your block being without power. The mm-hmm. entire fucking island That's is scary, dark. Man. You know, prayers Somebody said for the next people. six months. Yeah. Six months. That is gonna be months. insane Dang. to That's even how... think about. It's dog. U.S. territory, I mean, but, but US they're in bank- they're in bankruptcy. Like the- well, President Trump I mean, don't yeah. care I mean, about. Yeah, we're, we're, in we're in bankruptcy. Yeah, but it's worse. Well, yeah, I mean, nah, it's, nah, it's, their grid, it. their grid, it, it wouldn't be able. It, it wasn't able to sustain that type of storm. Like, yeah, that's why they're gonna. Did the eye pass over them? I believe so. I think so. It was close enough. Oh my God, that's See, crazy, that's, man! That's, that's all, cause that's happened in Jamaica before. Mm. There, was, there, was fun, there was a there was a season where um, we'd have power outages every Thursday. Oh wow! <laughs> yeah, mm. and you could time it on the dot. Like we, people would be lighting candles, like <laughs> starting yeah, generators mm. at like six fifty-five and seven o'clock. The lights would be out. That's crazy. Yeah. But yeah, um, yeah. What I'll say, it just made us like brush that off and skip over like that should be major news so more work and get out to more people to go help or do what we can you know what i'm saying Mm -hmm. just something they add in like that Mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying that is major news and they buy scientists dog yeah there are people who have spent years in school learning the truth just to tell a lie over a couple bucks yeah yeah and they know like that to me they're like true roaches because yeah. they know better. Yeah, they have the knowledge they don't want to they share. Ha- they yeah. have the knowledge and they know the, the, the consequences. Mm-hmm. So if you know the consequences and you know where this might lead to where your future, the future, like the future generations may not have a, a sustainable planet to live on. Yeah. And you still, and you still out here roaching. My God. Yeah. All they care about is the now. They don't care about the future. Mm-hmm. And if they do care about the future, it's about their, mm-hmm. their future and their immediate family future. You know what I'm saying? They, it's it's sickening to think about, man. But yeah, man. Prayers and blessings go out to you know, Vi Puerto Rico, mm-hmm. Bar, 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 Barbuda, mm-hmm. Barbuda, Barbuda, mm-hmm. Barbuda. Um, I think Dominica, 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 Dominica. Dominica. Their prime minister was on Facebook. Like I lost my roof. My yeah, I'm gone, dog. Yeah, <clears throat> dog. That's uh, mm-hmm. that's scary to think about. Like, I think it was something crazy. Like ninety percent of that island is like reduced to rubble. Ninety percent, dog. That's ridiculous, yo. It's and like it's humbling though. Yeah. Yes, it's, it's very humbling. You like know what's I, I, humbling too. Um, Harvey, what Harvey did to yeah. Houston. I mean, because it's easy for us to. I mean, just because of how I guess padded we are, how mm-hmm. uh, yeah, how protected we are normally, that something like that can come through and devastate a uh, U.S. territory. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like that. Like it takes like you that. actually like being somewhere and mm-hmm. seeing it firsthand mm-hmm. to actually understand it. Like last year, I had the chance for my birthday. I, I decided that I wanted to go out of the country, so mm-hmm. I went to Zanzibar, it's in Tanzania. So I went to Africa. Okay. 
And like, yeah, we stayed at a resort, but to get to the resort, you went through an island. I mean, you went through a, a village. Mm-hmm. Ain't no road. Like mm-hmm. our jeep was bumping, yeah. <laughs> goats everywhere, chickens everywhere. Nice. Um, <laughs> at night, pitch black. Like you don't see nothing. Mm-hmm. These people cooking with fires, but they're happy. Like you know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Like that's what they know. Mm-hmm. But like you just think about what you have at home, mm-hmm. and you just think about like how much better their life could be. Probably, mm-hmm. and they don't mind, but. How much better it could be, or how much progress they could have, and like what we take for granted. It just mm-hmm. takes you actually being in it and like having power outages and not mm-hmm. having hot water, like something as simple yeah. as a road. Like, yeah, something yeah, that, as simple as a road. Everything for us is so instant. Like, we just flip a switch for anything or push a few buttons, and we got what we yeah, need. Yeah, like people was freaking out, people you know, got... during Hurricane Irma. Mm-hmm. We had, I had horrible cell phone service. Mm-hmm. I was yeah. like, damn, I can't talk oh, to nobody. Oh, like remembering how. It used to be, you know? Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm trying to get a sponsor. Shout out Cricket. Your phone's working all the way through the store. Hey. Hey. Neither my house at Metro, T-Mobile. I was the only one working. Shout out Cricket. Like, hey, yeah, like, they go through so much to <laughs> like get sense. data and plans and all that stuff. Like that yeah. stuff we just use on the regular. Like it, they go through a lot to get exactly. that. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Like you said, you have to not really go through it, but be around it. Like you said, to understand. Just because experience it. 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 it was like that for me. Like even when I was a kid, when I went to go visit my grandma in Jamaica. Like, my people's weren't like piss poor or nothing, mm-hmm. but the, still, it was still different. It was still like you said, it was a dirt road to get to her house. It was pitch black at night. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But even so, I still felt like uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Little spoiled ass brat. Like, why is yeah. this happening? Why I gotta do this? Why the water is cold? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Then you go up and realize, like, shut your ass up. You have it awesome over here. You know yep. what I'm saying? Be right. grateful. You know what I'm saying? Like, we can get hit by a hurricane and what? 10, 11 days we got power, we're recording the podcast. Mm. They not going to have power for six months, my nigga. Okay. I'm okay. complaining about, I feel shitty right now. I'm complaining about nine days I was without power. Six months, the entire fucking island no power, though. It's crazy. I'm sorry. Yeah. Stuff on my soapbox. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, please, yeah. That, that's... Send out your prayers. If, mm-hmm. You know, everybody out there, send your prayers to Puerto Rico, Barbuda. I mean, everyone affected. Where? Mm-hmm. Mexico. Affected, yeah. Mexico. Oh, yeah, Mexico. Yeah. Mexico and, um, Japan. I think Australia. New Zealand had an earthquake as well. I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, they did. They had an earthquake in New Zealand as well. Oh, and um, the forest fires, I think, in Oregon? And California. And California. And California. Yeah. yeah. Anybody affected by that? Just yeah. prayers out in general. For real. And find <laughs> the right place to donate to. Because yeah. I've seen so many articles that um, one of the major like uh, places you donate, like Red Cross, one of, one of them can't explain to anyone why money hasn't been spent on harvest relief. Mm, mm-hmm. Like It's like a small percentage of the money that's getting spent on relief. You know what I'm saying? But if you donate to certain places, they give all of it. It goes right through them to the cause. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't touch any hands. Uh, the only reason to touch hands because you're giving to them and it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I, I think it's I don't want to I don't want to quote the Red Cross and say that was them, but it's articles like the major ones, the ones who always send out the numbers first, ones. Yeah. The one that come to your mind I, first. I've <laughs> heard of Red Cross being sh- doing shady. Being shady, stuff. yeah. And you already know the FEMA thing with Katrina. Yeah. Like, I'm telling you. So make sure if you're gonna donate, donate to the right place. Yeah. Definitely but, yeah. be mindful of where you sending your money. To. Definitely. Yeah. If you can do grassroots, I, I yes. suggest doing grassroots. Like yes, definitely. Local organizations that you mm-hmm. know about, you're familiar with, I, I mm-hmm. suggest that. Yeah, Word. I agree. I agree. Speaking of, you know, choosing the right people to support, hey. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so, That's what we call yeah, yeah, yeah. segway. <laughs> there you go. Oh, oh, she hit <laughs> the show uh, uh-huh. That segue um, was silk. I'm sorry. <laughs> Just in case y'all forgot. Erica, our lovely guest. Uh huh. She runs an awesome blog. And what's yeah. the name of the blog, Erica? Different by Design. And what's the you know the website name, the Instagram and all that? It is Plug the, it the website <laughs> is bedifferentbydesign.com. You can also follow me on IG at mm-hmm. bedifferentbydesign27. You can also follow my personal IG at code underscore red27. Oh, right. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Now, what um. What made you want to jump into blogging? Like, have you blogged before? Is this your first time blogging? Ooh, so actually, a lot of people don't know that this site is a relaunch. 
Oh, okay. <laughs> it's a relaunch. I tried to start, you know, a whole year ago, right. and I did one post, which I did repost on the site. Uh huh. And you know, life happened. I wasn't hey, really organized. Came out twice, remember? <laughs> Titty boy, two chains. <laughs> hey. That is very true. Hey. <laughs> um, I wasn't really organized, and I had like school, and I was working full time, so it was just like. Uh, Gonna work. So mm-hmm. I literally just had that one post. It was a blog spot. I didn't even have my own domain, and it, it was crappy. I, I started from the bottom for real. <laughs> from, the, from the bottom. Um, but yeah, this is a relaunch. Like I've I always loved to write. Like since elementary school. Like I I've always been a writer. Like in sixth grade, I tr- wrote a book, but it. <laughs> Yeah, right chapters, them right. chapters like paragraph short. Like, oh yeah, it's a book. Yeah. In sixth grade, it's a book. Like, yeah, it, it was like chronicles of my everyday life. Um, in high school, I took creative writing, so I did poetry, short stories, plays. In middle school, actually, one of my short stories won at the literary fair. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> I read that story. In retrospect, it's right? In retrospect, I read that story. And I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> but okay, <laughs> what was I talking about? I won, so I don't care. Um, so yeah, so I always loved to write, and just when I got to college, it just it wasn't fun anymore. You know, when you get to college, everything is so structured. Like school just builds you up to just be mm. this robot. Mm. And when you get in college, it just was like I don't like this anymore. Except for one of my classes, my teacher, I mean my professor, was really encouraging and everything like that. So I was like, I'll give it a try. So I really want to start over. And, like continue with this passion and like a lot of people tell me like you're funny you have all these ideas you have all these different perspectives so I was just like why not mm-hmm. and it took me forever to come up with that name different by design by the way I like that name <laughs> but, but it sounds solid it sounds original you know so I'm, I'll tell you a little story about how I came up with a name okay. so you know Founders Day was rolling around shout out to my sovereigns ooh y'all plug it up um and I seen like this this photo, like one Sora posted, and it it was like a picture of a founder, and it, it had different by design. Mm. And in Delta in Greek letters, it's a it means it's a D, so mm-hmm. the the triangle, whatever you want to say, it's a a Delta. It means D. So I was like, damn, different by design. I really like that, and I feel like it it represents me. It represents I'm a multifaceted person. Like I grew up as a tomboy, but now I like makeup and. <laughs> You know, people look at me and like, oh, you're pretty, so they think you're prissy, but I be in the club, like, Kodak bopping, like, so I'm just a, a multifaceted person, I'm different by design, and it, it's just really for people that are different, that feel like they're different, that are anomalies, have different aspects, and whatever I write about, when people say, like, oh, hey, I never thought about something like that this mm-hmm. in this way, or like, dang, I thought I was the only person that thought of it this way mm-hmm. I'm glad that there's somebody else that thinks the, mm-hmm. thinks the way I think so got you that's dope that's what reaching out to the people and connecting yeah, yeah pretty that's much um, from the blog you said that you you've and, and just now you said you love writing mm-hmm. and you've uh, you always love writing but mm-hmm. how how did you figure out what format that you wanted to, to take your writing, or like what direction you want to take it? As far as like the site, or as far as blogging. Yeah, so why why a blog? Yeah, why, why not? Why? I mean, I feel like that. I guess you can say it's popular or whatever. It's just I feel like with blogs, you can be your own person. Mm-hmm. There's you you have your own say. Whatever you want to write about, whatever niche you want to fill, you can do that. I don't box myself in and say, oh, I'm a lifestyle blogger, I'm a this because everything is different. One day I might want to write about relationships. Another day I might want to write about, oh, I'm an adult and I need to get a 401k. I need to have renter's insurance if I'm mm-hmm. staying in an apartment. I need to have health insurance. Like stuff that people don't think about. Mm-hmm. So it's just, I don't want to pigeonhole myself and say, I want to do this, I want to do this. So I was like, with my own blog, nice. I make my own rules. Mm. Yeah, nice. there you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> So yeah, you'll you, you'll get a lot of different things. I love music, so the last post I just did, I did a, 
uh, call it the midweek fix. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah, a mix. Yeah, yeah. 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 You wanna check it out? You trying to get you a little winter boo? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I like puffin season. <laughs> yeah, I like that puffin season. Let's keep it right on us. Listen to the cut tape chronicles. Girl, I got one. Shout out to all into nowhere. So let me. So Erica, let me ask you. Um, who inspires you creatively? Who inspires me creatively? Yeah, just where do you draw from when it when it comes to when it comes to putting things together? Or? It just comes from multiple sources. Mm-hmm. Like I feel like I take from my everyday interactions mm-hmm. um, with what I want to write about. So like I've had multiple jobs, and majority of them have been in service. So like I feel like I have this post coming up where it's just like people are ridiculously mm, I'm, I'm waiting for it. Unintended. <laughs> People are stupid. Like, I agree with you. Really, really <laughs> stupid. Like, <laughs> and lazy. Um, but it's just everything. Family, friends, people mm-hmm. like just dating relationships, just everything. I draw from everything that I've experienced. Mm-hmm. And I think like that's real and it's raw and people can relate to that. Cause, I mean, you go through something every day. Mm-hmm. Like, it might not be nothing, anything dramatic. You might have a good day. You might have a bad day. Like I said, it's, the whole purpose of it is to just bring to light something that you may experience, you thought that no one else experienced, or you might not have looked at it that way. Mm-hmm. But like I said, yeah. It's very important, though, to offer those different uh, ranges of, of perspectives and things for yeah. people, because not everyone, especially in social media, is upfront about all parts of their lives. Like, everyone right. just puts the way their life, or they'll present themselves a certain way. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, so, I literally have a notebook filled with like outlines and stuff that I want to write about. It's going to get a little real. It's going to get a little real. Like <laughs> just yeah, wait on true. it. Like I just feel like it, for me writing is therapeutic. So like I'm not only going to talk about, you know, my experiences with traveling, I'm also probably going to talk about what I have going on in a respectful way with like mm-hmm. family and father issues that I have. Like just so people I mean just for me to get my feelings out there and then to also help someone else. That might be that same position. Yeah, that, yeah, for the same definitely, way. Mm-hmm. definitely. Like the with the me myself and I article. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, 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 <laughs> that was very well written. Too, Man. You know, like I, a serial monogamist, you called yourself. <laughs> yes, I will You'd touch be on that. How many people are the same? Yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah, I was. Mm, a lot of people don't realize. Like yeah, a lot of people don't realize that sometimes you, you need that break in between. Mm-hmm. Uh, they have that saying like, "Oh, in order to get over one person, you need to get under, get under, <laughs> get under someone else." And you know, sometimes you take that advice, and it's not healthy for the person that you're, you know, dealing with as well as yourself. And mm-hmm. it was just like, I didn't understand that. Like I said, I in high school. I, you know, I'll be honest. I lost my virginity, like, a little bit shy of my 18th birthday. And that mm-hmm. boyfriend, I dated him for two and a half years. Like, I went into college mm-hmm. with him as my boyfriend. Mm-hmm. And even though people was like, oh, yeah, I'm going to break up. This isn't this. Like, we were together. And then we did break up. And literally, like, a month later, I ended up with somebody else. Mm-hmm. You know? And we dated for two and a half years. But it's just, like, the person that I was when I entered in a relationship at, like, 17 and a half, 18, was not the person that I was towards the end of that relationship, 22, going into another one. No. It's like I never, I never got the chance to really find myself and figure it out. So that relationship was just doomed from the start. Yeah. Everybody <laughs> goes through. Those are the years. Those are like the exact years you kind of find yourself too. Yeah, so, definitely. So it's if you don't have those years to yourself, it can be difficult, I guess. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you let me learn. You know. Yeah. You do. No, or a little confusing. Everybody, because. everybody's journey is different. No regrets. Yeah. No regrets. <laughs> yeah. On the neck. Not even one letter. Nah. No regrets. Not even the positioning of the letter. So, as far as shirts, sh- shirt, <coughs> short term goals go. Short term goals. What can we be on the lookout for from you? Definitely be on the lookout for a spotlight of, I guess you can say, young movers and shakers in South Florida. Like, I know, like, I'm just amazed. Yeah, y'all might be featured. Just get ready for that. (laughs) I'm amazed that all the people that I know that are just doing 
so much work in the community and being so creative. Like, I know people that are running for commission spots. I know people that have their own businesses, started, like, lipstick lines and event planning. Just, like, That's amazing cool. stuff. Like, just young black professionals. It's amazing. And a lot of times, you know, it, it doesn't get highlighted. It doesn't get showcased. Uh -huh. You know, people think about South Florida. All they think about is Miami and South Beach and partying and all this stuff like that. But there's a lot of people doing great things. Amazing things. And, I want to showcase that. And it's also the stuff that I do. I mean, I'm not trying to toot my own horn, but I think I got a pretty interesting life. But that's a part of it. We want to see that. Yeah, yeah right. definitely expect some stuff of me recapping. Like, I went to New York recently for the first time. Yeah. Been in New York. I um, went to Afro Pump. Met some famous people. Afro nice. Okay. Pretty exciting. We got a party with Kate Trinata. Hey. Oh, I'm jealous. <laughs> I'm jealous. I'm jealous. <laughs> yeah, no, legit jealous. Yeah, you know, just, just different experiences. So, like, every month I'll be bringing, like, a recap of all the events and stuff that I do. Okay. And what's going to be the title of that segment? Bring it back. Okay. Hey. Bring it back. <laughs> Shut up. Okay. I know. I know. <laughs> okay. I do have one question. What, what is Afro Pump like? Cause I ain't never seen so it's funny. On the way to Afropunk, we got in the Uber and and the people that were in the Uber, we because Uber in New York is expensive as fuck. Yeah, you <laughs> Uber pool. Like everything, everything is, is just like God damn, 20, <laughs> 25 dollars just for me to go up five block shit. Damn. Um, five dollars a block. <laughs> damn. Um, but the we met these two girls and like they were saying we were asking like how is the atmosphere at Afropunk and they were just like. It's indescribable. It's this overwhelming feeling of just pride and enjoyment and just black excellence at its best. Just being free to be who you are. And like literally when you when I got there and I walked through the doors, like that's just this overwhelming yeah. feeling. Like that's what you get. Like everybody is carefree, just in their own world. Like nobody cares, like Oh, you got on Jordans, or oh, you got your whole face painted, or you know, like just yeah. everybody's just doing them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like pretty much, like the performers are there. Like I seen Miguel walking, I was like, oh my fucking god, that's Miguel. Like, <laughs> just vibing. Hey, yeah. Hey. He wasn't taking no pictures. He had security with him. But whatever. It's like black. Uh, <laughs> pretty like much, black it really man. is. It really is. It's just a celebration of just being you, whether mm -hmm. it be black boy joy. Black girl magic, just being who you are as an individual. Like, there is no set definition of how it is to be a black person. Mm, you don't true. have to love hip-hop in order to be black. Because yeah. there's black people that love rock. There's yeah. black people that love classical music. Which, and I think that Afropunk is just a celebration of that, just everybody. Mm. And it, it was amazing. Like, I would definitely be back... Um, what is it? It sounds overwhelming. Yeah. I'm sorry. It is. It is. <laughs> just what, as you're describing it, I'm like, it really I'm is. You just get it, you're just like, oh my God. Oh, man. I got to make food. it out there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh, it really man. is. When like, is it? It is at the end of August. They oh, do okay. it, but it travels though. So they're about to do yeah. Afropunk in Atlanta. Like Brooklyn yeah. is the one that a lot of people <laughs> want to go to, but they they travel. Like they do Afropunk in um, London as well. Oh, like, yeah, that'd someone, be lit. Yeah, for yeah, real. Yeah, I have Two someone that one. lives in London. I know, and she went to the one in London. And it was lit. Uh -huh. She seen it. And I went to the one in Brooklyn. She was like, "Oh my gosh, how was it? It was amazing." Like Solange performed, SZA, Anderson Pack, oh, <laughs> Mm -hmm. Wow. Um, oh, this um, makes my heart sing. A lot mm -hmm. of um, well known acts, as well as people that, you know, they're trying to put them on, you might not know about. Mm -hmm. And it's great. It's amazing. If you love music, you love culture, you love fashion, definitely check it out. Okay, cool. So, in terms of like your long term goals, like where do you see your blog going? In five years, mm -hmm. I would hope that the blog is on the level of like, Essence or mm. XOXO Nicole and just reporting black excellence and what's going on in black culture Because I feel like I like to keep myself abreast of what's happening and I would like to also Extend it from just being me as a writer to also having other contributors because like I'm so in tune with other people's experiences and what they have going on so Definitely awesome. Okay, so so if I ask to write a piece I'm with it Oh, 
Okay. okay. <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm right with it. I'm open to it. You right. have guest writers? Yeah, I'm what? not selfish. I'm not selfish. That's so, love. Commission piece. That's beautiful. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Get my thoughts out. Because I, work out. Out I definitely, with the launch, I definitely had like a little meltdown or whatever. Um, About like, like nervous? nervous? I'm a perfectionist. Okay. I'm working uh, on it. Mm-hmm. I'm in rehab for it, you know. <laughs> 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 I'm working on it. Don't beat yourself uh, up. I, <laughs> you I'm a perfectionist. It's definitely a, a trait of a Virgo. It ain't the end all be all, like I, but I'm definitely a true Virgo. And, just gotta everything has to be perfect and it, it wasn't going how i wanted and i was just like oh my god like i had to go down and it's not all never know but it ain't real if you don't have intense emotions like that so. yeah but i mean you know yeah. i wouldn't recommend you keep having <laughs> yeah, but, don't you know, keep no i wouldn't recommend it i wouldn't yeah, recommend it i wouldn't i wouldn't want to but no definitely i'm happy with the result i've been getting positive feedback and like that's all I'm, I, would, I just want people to be engaged that's and what's enjoy up. the content and what's Oh, I enjoyed the content so far. Yeah. <laughs> I look forward to more. The artwork yeah, is good. The artwork more, is dope. Oh, you know, yeah, very um, clean looking. Post coming soon, you know, my experiences during Irma. Because, you know, mm. everybody had they little hacks and everything. All that, you know. Just oh, yeah, you're not, you're not a native. Huh? You're not, are you, you're not a native South Florida. Oh, yeah. I'm born and raised oh, in South Florida. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, okay, okay. I, I mean, I'm writing from the perspective of this storm was different for a It was. It was. Yeah. Okay, yeah, it okay. Was. Because yeah. I went to the store and it wasn't nothing last. Yeah. But, yeah. like, it I was, was like, oh, I'm going to get my little canned chicken. I'm going to get this. It was nothing but canned oysters <laughs> and, yeah. and lobsters. I was like, and who the fuck is this? Like, who the fuck is going to eat this? <laughs> like, it wasn't in it. It was nothing. I kind of went to panic mode a little bit. Like, what the fuck? I never. It's like, so it happened when Everybody. Andrew, when Andrew oh happened, God. I was two. Like, mm-hmm. I don't remember that. And then when what happened, I was in high school, and that was the closest thing that we could get to being like refugees because we was out of school for like almost a month. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. With no power, cool cooking me. on the grills every night. Yeah. Like, that's when you met everybody. On I just blind. <laughs> everybody was outside. <laughs> The kids, the kids riding bikes. Yeah. Right. You took about two Playing laps. You done seen all the stars and identify everything. That's uh, right, but over there, that's uh, this. Big so. uh, All of right. a sudden, at the end of the month, you became an astronomer. I'm like, well, it appears that the position of Orion's belt has shifted. So, yeah, definitely riding it from the perspective as a Floridian, not experiencing this in a long time. We've been blessed, and we still was blessed because Irma didn't do what it, mm-hmm. it, everyone said that it would do. So It did what it always does. We should have known better. <laughs> we should have known better. Yeah, I'm disappointed absolutely. in myself, honestly. Absolutely. But you know, just as a spoiler, that little hack, I don't know if y'all seen that with the battery and the Oh yeah. Yo. I didn't try it. Listen, Did it work? But it I tried it, Uh-oh. right? It gave me a good it boosted my battery a good like seven yeah. percent. But if your battery is dead, it is not gonna bring back it's not gonna bring your phone back to life. Oh, just, I'm it's sorry it's to break it to you. You need a more power. Sorry to break it to you. It's, it's not gonna bring it back to life. That shit's gonna still be so you, you gotta consistently keep your <laughs> Yo, phone. So once you again, the audience had that experience. I'll if you can go to nah. Walgreens, Walmart, five below and buy them little power packs. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I, Yo, I remember when these first came out. I was like, why did I think of a portable charger? It's <laughs> so fucking genius. <laughs> I'm, I'm still laughing at you studying the stars now. Like, yeah. <laughs> I know I did. You turned into an astronomer. Like, nigga, no. nigga, niggas oh, yeah, no, I've been having a bad day. Oh, nigga, what you, a Pisces? Yeah, yeah. I got a, <laughs> Yo, you Pisces see, are retrograde, my <laughs> nigga. You're not connected with your celestial being. Nigga, your chakra is all kind of whack. Just sitting there for a second. Put your hands like this. Like, oh, it's Tuesday. You're not supposed to be out of the house, man. Yeah. No, no, what time is it? What, when you was born? <laughs> Bro, yeah, like you've you been feeling real emotional lately, yeah, yeah. ain't it? Yeah, I feel you. Okay. During the hurricane, that makes sense. I became an accountant because we played Monopoly. <laughs> 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 No, we play so much Monopoly. Like, my dad plays Monopoly so much that you'll roll six. And before you can reach your, your piece, you move it too, so he move it for you. <laughs> he's been playing Monopoly his whole life, and I got just like that. <laughs> my little brother, like, nigga, seven spaces is right here. Let's go. Like, 200. I got property to buy. You know what I'm saying? Like, we play Monopoly every yeah. fucking but night. But definitely buddy. during Irma, you find out who your real friends are. If you had friends out of the state and, oh, they, yes. and they ain't check on you. Yeah. 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 Shout out to everyone that checked on hey, yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah. And that shows 
how much it scared people on the outside. You know? I had people I hit had me people up. hit me up like, did you I evacuate? Still got you. Like, right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I had people like, yeah, are you still crazy. there? Did you evacuate? You, I'm yeah. like, I'm still here. I mean, Why would you do well, that? Yeah. That's crazy. Exactly. Like, don't Charlemagne that. made people that stayed in Florida during Irma donkey of the day. He oh, made us donkey of the day. He's like, if you in Miami and you still there, but Irma's coming, you don't get it. Charlamagne has a bias because he don't like Florida. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he yeah, said we all crazy. <laughs> nah, I, I low key agree with him. I agree yeah, with if you're on the coast, if you in if you in Miami, if you're on the coast, you're like crazy. those areas, yeah, probably. But then like Miami's like Kimberly there's only Miami. so far you could go because it hit all. Of them, <laughs> yeah. 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 It was like, oh, you think you niggas? Because oh, I know niggas that ran to Atlanta, yeah. and, she and, said, and, and, that, and she and she still curved just to find you niggas. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, damn. Yo, I, 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 I owed Irma money or some shit. <laughs> I, feel I knew they were feeling like back juices because yeah. by the time we, <laughs> by the time we got like the good, they were they were just, <laughs> they were just, they were just getting hit. So by the time they got to Atlanta, <laughs> real. I feel bad for the people that went to Tampa. I, that shit came straight. One of my licenses went to Sarasota, and I'm like, bro, do you not know straight for you? It's right there. Now. Stay it's stay there. there. The smartest thing I saw, one of my homeboys had a. Got a plane ticket to Nebraska. <laughs> <laughs> no shit happened in Nebraska. No shit happened in Nebraska. I was like, Side note. Oh, shit, yeah. Side, Side note. I need to give a shout out to my line sister, Kane. She is the real MVP. She is a wedding photographer. And she had a, like, the storm was supposed to come, like, that Saturday. And she had a wedding the day before. And the venue was in an evacuation zone. Mm -hmm. And they still did the wedding. Wow. And she still took the pictures. Shout and it came out amazing. Hey, wow. Yeah, Kanae. Shout, 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 shout out to her. You like, she, that's a true you know, hustler. Right? <laughs> yeah. And you are a true photographer. Hey, <laughs> way to stick shout it out, out, though, yeah, for real. Because yeah, ain't nothing happening, right? <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> the people was like, we not losing this deposit. We finna have this wedding. Word, right? <laughs> it doubles as before and after pictures for the insurance. <laughs> 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 oh, God. That's facts, though. I'm I'm checking the watch on my skin. Uh huh. <laughs> Wait, no, no, no. Oh, the skin on my watch. Before we go, remember, said we have a surprise for Erica. Oh. Oh wow. Yeah. I'm honored. So. I, I don't even know what this is. Well, that might be the surprise. <laughs> Well, don't, tell me, don't tell me build it up for the old. No, no. Home. I was gonna say, it, but y'all looking at me. Like, oh, okay. All right. <laughs> I, I didn't know what's going on. Uh, we did this with our last guest. Um, you know the word association game, right? Yeah. Oh, we throw a word to you when you say the first thing that pops in your head. Oh lord. Uh, <laughs> we're not gonna throw anything too hard. You know, too Ooh. difficult. So ready. Are right, you ready? Yeah. You ready? Ready? Ready. ready? All right. Um, boyfriend. Joy. Hey. Girlfriend. Fine. <laughs> Husband. Lifetime. <laughs> Pickle, pickle juice. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm doing, I'm doing. Why I'm doing pickle juice? You're doing pickle juice. You said pickle juice? Pickle juice. <laughs> Delicious. Uh, I like pickles. Hey. Kanye West. I think we're crazy. Them. <laughs> I think we gained the most insight just now. For yes. Real. Like the whole time. <laughs> pickles are delicious. Eric likes pickles, y'all. Every, everybody at home, everybody was home was like, it all makes sense now. <laughs> it's all, the all came together. <laughs> all the pieces I thought were missing are, are, are now here. Are now here. Like if you ever. <laughs> and, hey, Johnny. It's the pickles. <laughs> <laughs> oh! That's what it was. Why didn't you say so? <laughs> Why you do? We could have done it again. <laughs> oh, Obama. Brilliant. Mm. Donald Trump. Mm. Fuck boy. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, that was stuck. Fuck boy. boy. Hey, that be careful. He might, he, might, <laughs> he might shut down your Twitter. Be careful now. Oh, I, I wish. They, they might demand that you be fired. <laughs> I wish Donald Trump would give us a hate endorsement. Oh, that would be good. Oh, yeah. Oh, the physical is trash. <laughs> Blow up They're overnight. fake news. Uh, we we set for life for until Saturday or whatever. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Hey, oh, I would have really made it then. Quick reminder. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, all right, oh, oh, yeah. last two. Life. Amazing. Love. Terrific. <laughs> and that was the word association. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, that was beautiful. Yeah, it was beautiful. I was getting some good answers. Word. No. 
one more time before we get out a lot of here. Go ahead and shameless plug yourself. Yeah, shameless plug. plug. Okay. Go to the website be different by design.com. That's be different by design.com. <laughs> <laughs> you can also follow me on IG. My personal IG is code underscore red27. And also the blog's IG is um, different by design27. Mm-hmm. All right. And um, Erica, once again, not to sound redundant or repetitive. Thank you for being on here Thank tonight. Thank you guys for having mm-hmm. me. You know, oh, of course. It's not going to be the last time you see me. You know, oh, no, absolutely not. Get oh, ready because the interview with you all is coming. Oh, hey. yeah. It's in the works. Stay tuned. You're going to find out the color of somebody's underwear in the oh. works. <laughs> <laughs> Go get personal. <laughs> but as every week, the previous weeks and the weeks after this, Oh yeah, once again, we didn't emphasize it with the 50th episode, dog. Yes. It's the five oh. It's the magical, very black epis- excellent 50th <laughs> episode. episode. That too. Just very really black. Very black. Very, black. very, very excellent. Black, beautiful. Yeah. All very Afrocentric. We got all different you know. shades of black. <laughs> Lined up. Lined up. Hey, y'all, y'all, you will see the spectrum. <laughs> color Shout out to Cam. <laughs> Shout out to the lighting arrangement. Shout out to <laughs> Shout out Babylon. <laughs> Word. Oh yeah, and Word. um, the last we forgot Ra- to mention, ranging from lemon pepper to the Zulu nation. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, you forgot. This nigga got a parmesan. I'm not sure how, but I'm offended. Oh man. We well, start with wings and end up. With a Zulu they shit. <laughs> 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 yeah. But it all oh. makes sense somewhere. Hey, it all reduce us to fried chicken. Yes. <laughs> and with that. <laughs> yes. Cool. <laughs> with that. Black Dynamite will not stand for this injustice. <laughs> Damn it, we need Recording to wrap this podcast, episode. <laughs> yes, but this has been the physics study group for the 50th time nice. on TEDx. Yes. Nice. And we appreciate y'all listening. Make sure y'all go hit our Twitter. Facebook, Instagram, just Google the Physics Study Group because we hashtag Googleable. Make sure you go to SoundCloud, iTunes, and our new YouTube channel. Watch, rate, subscribe, listen, share. Do what you got to do. Do oh, it. Yeah. Look else. out for that TPSG merchandise coming soon. We collaborate with Gucci, so you know, it's going to be quality. <laughs> I'm sorry, we're not collaborating with Gucci. We're not. Do not. That's not happening. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, it's your boy, Black Dynamite, a.k.a. Shabby Ranks. And of course, please do what this man just said. Mm. And guys, remember, (laughs) for all you nerds out there, all you nerds are hard because you know it's in style right now. So if you're cool, you're a nerd now. But if you're a nerd, you're cool. It's a weird paradox. (laughs) But if you fit within that, that, that description, which is everybody, check out the Geek Land Store. The GeeklandStore.com. Check out their Instagram. Um, when you shop online, use the, the promo tag TPSG for a 20% discount. Check 20%. them out. That's a lot of percent off. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. That's more than 0%. Yeah, exactly. So and It's lit. Y'all right. helping broke dudes, you know, that they can be kind of fresh. You know, so we can finally ask some like girls that. out. Right. Yeah. Go ahead, get that number with your Goku chain on, dog. Exactly. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because you know it's in Because you're only going to get a number with a Goku chain on. Because she's going to ask you where the Goku chain at. Mm-hmm. But um, as every... You know, the last 50 weeks, I've been the same nigga. Dramatic, a.k.a. La Pachova, a.k.a. This nigga outro himself twice. A- no, I didn't do it the first time. Oh. I thought you did. I man. stand corrected. A.k.a. Wavy McGrady. A.k.a. Wavy McBeard. I'm done. Oh, you guys kind of look like, huh, see what I did there? <laughs> <laughs> I just profiled you, nigga. The wings. <laughs> you know, it's your boy, Shabby Ranks, a.k.a. Lemon Pepper, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's your name, Lemon Pepper, comma, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> no, it gotta be <laughs> Lemon Pepper. <laughs> lemon <laughs> Pepper. <laughs> You actually gave yourself Lemon Pepper. Yeah. He called him Lemon Pepper. <laughs> yeah, but I'm going to call you Lemon Pepper from now on. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. we just go fade every time. It's cool. Yeah. <laughs> if that's how it got to go down, that's hey, how it got to go down, down, damn it. I done, <laughs> I done been beat up before. I ain't scared. <laughs> I done fought over less. <laughs> Lemon pepper and garlic parmesan I versus hey, Are we going to outro this bitch? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Who kid right here looks like nigga? No, bro. We, we wait. No, this guy. Done. He about to fly in and peck the fuck out of us, man. Hey. <laughs> oh, man. Who kid hates us? But anyway. 
<laughs> it's your boy David Bomaya, aka Chico Fantastico, aka one half of the Zulu Nation. Hey. Oh. <laughs> Another half Damn. of the Zulu Nation. Y'all niggas ain't got electricity. So where's that? <laughs> <laughs> this is That's your damn right. And and before we go, our lovely guest. One more time, your girl Erica. <laughs> AKA Cold Red 27, aka EA Sports. Hey, hey. Don't, about, don't even worry about who I am. <laughs> Are you right? Because he be who he is. Yeah, we be who he is. Hey, and hey, with that, well, once again, thank y'all for listening. Good night. And make sure you go home, you get yourself a shot, Word. get yourself a joint, make sure you rub up a fat booty. Word. Thank you to the live audience. Thank you to our guests. Uh, hey, shoulders. Hey, Kodak Bop one more time. <laughs> yeah, in. Peace. If you're, if you're watching this, either the apocalypse didn't happen or <laughs> you're watching this like a hundred years later. In which case, this is what we looked like before the radiation. Peace. Bless one up. love. And of course, never forget, people don't think it be like it is. But it <laughs> but it is. <laughs>